Transmitting final briefing. As of now, Airborne Squad 7 will exterminate the Alpha Nativas occupying District 3. Their objective is the capture or dispatchment of the Elder Nativa. Pods entering atmosphere. One minute until threshold is reached. Zero seven five three one. Pod landing complete. Removing physical shield. Opening hatch. The hatch. Come on. Come on. Right. This place is dangerous. Take my hand. Are you all right, Eve? Uh, my body frame. Take this. It's first aid. Thank you. This isn't looking good. Let's go. Is that an Alpha Nativa? Let's join them. Life signs. 
We're the only two left. Eve. Eve, pull yourself together. Taggy. Listen to me. We haven't completed our mission. Now it's just up to us to see this mission through. Understand? But it was a strong one. You fought well, even better than during training. You were all together, but then... <laughs> the damage to your body frame is serious. We have to find the supply camp. Wait, Eve. I hear something. Eve! Eve, are you all right? Here, friend. It's me you want. No! Ah! Eve! Get out of here! It's quiet. Still, make sure to stay cautious. It's where the Alpha and AT buy is. Now, get ready. I'll be supporting with the drone.
So this must be eight or seven. Yes. This was the final battlefield of civilization. It was also known as a truly colossal city. Something is falling from the sky. A strange sensation. This must be Earth's rain. We can admire the scenery later. We have a job to do here. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. From here on, you have to stay alert, Eve. Fusion cell? It's a high energy compression battery. Thanks to that, Earth's night isn't dark yet. Oh, it's the previous generation of the infinity cell. Be sure to keep that. It's very valuable. Damn! It's a trap! The crack is quite deep. It's going to be difficult to pass. We'll have to go across, past the parking tower. A supply camp? In a place like this? Supply camp? What's that? It's a depot, set up by the airborne squad who came here before. Hmm. Looks like it's been abandoned for a long time. How come they set up a camp in a corner like this? Well, the supply camp also serves as an important base. Is this parking lot important? It could also mean that this place is very dangerous. Then I guess this place could be useful for us. Adam? Yeah? About yesterday. Thank you for saving me. It's nothing, really. Though I have used up almost all of the exospine materials that I collected over the years. Oh. It's all right. It now means we can help each other. We can track down the Alpha Nativa together. And, well, I'd have trouble making it out here by myself anyway. If you can locate the Hall of Records, you'll have done more than enough. Listen, don't worry. I promise, I'll make sure to repay you. Look! That's not an ordinary enemy! Adam, get back! You defeated it, Eve. Amazing. It wasn't an Alpha Nativa. It wasn't, but still so strong. <sighs> Things will only get harder. Maybe. Anyway, please show me the next route, Adam. Right, hold on. Let me take a look at the map data. 
As the crow flies, the Hall of Records isn't too far from here. But an entire block is submerged. We have to find a way to cross. Are you saying that there's no way? I found it. Do you see the sign behind the stone statue? There's a transportation device there that you can use. What? You really think that these abandoned devices are still going to work? Well, the supply camp was in one piece. Let's just try to stay positive. Uh-huh. Positive. Sure. Adam. I was very surprised when I first met you. Why? Back in the colony, we learned that everyone on Earth was completely wiped out. I'm sure it must have seemed that way. But you can't expect Mother Sphere to know everything. Then there are other survivors out there, like you. Mm. Yes, but it's rare to see them. Earth is still pretty inhospitable to humans. Something is heading our way. Don't worry, it's the monorail. This ancient electronic device is our transport. remembering something from yesterday. This city, it's so quiet, and so lonesome. Well, that's what happens when a city becomes devoid of humanity. Eve, what are you going to do after you defeat the Alpha Nativa? All airborne squad members exist for one sole purpose. All we must do is complete the mission. You mean the extinction of all Natibas, right? To think that the point of your existence is to snuff out another species. <laughs> no fun in that. Looks like this used to be a plaza. You're right. Except it's underwater now. The good thing is, you won't have to go in the water. The Hall of Records is that way. Adam, do you meet airborne squad members from the colony often? No, not really. Yesterday, I just happened to be around the area. I've never seen such a large-scale airborne operation. Why did you save me? <laughs> I'm not really sure. It just felt right. Like I was meant to. It's hard to describe. It's just a short, intense feeling. <laughs> Everything looks like an apocalypse. What? Nothing. Just talking to myself. It's a victory monument. The Hall of Records is under there. I can't believe we're in the Hall of Records. It's like a dream. Now, all we have to do is find the hyperdrive. Humanity's greatest and only hope for survival can be found in Mother Sphere. Please, enjoy the harmony and prosperity of Ados 7, the first city ever built by Mother Sphere, the mother of... I have no idea what that was all about. Adam, did it make any sense to you? Mankind's past was buried with the final war. This must be a video from before that time. Great, we accomplished our first objective. Let's go before the emergency power runs out. We 
already got it. The hypercell. This is going to do a lot of good. Eve, thank you. Um, okay. Then, can you tell me where the Alpha Nativa is? <laughs> of course. It isn't far. We've come quite far. How much more do we have to go? We just have to pass that sewage facility. There must be a way to get across. We can build ourselves a bridge if we use that crane. Adam, I have a question. What is it? The hypercell. If it sustained the Hall of Records until now, it must be a huge source of energy. Yes. Even compared to a fusion cell. Then... Where are you planning to use this energy? Oh, well, it's kind of a long story. But I can explain more when you come back. Understood. Loud and clear. Oh, we need an ID card if we want to operate it. Three of them, actually. If the ID cards are needed for the crane, then they should be nearby. I'll look for the closest one first. You can take your time. Wow. What a view. I wonder what it looked like before the war. Hmm. What do you think it looked like? Well, probably upright buildings, well manicured flora, and living people. That's it? You have no imagination. Then again, I guess you've never been here before. Imagine bustling streets, crystal clean air, and people smiling everywhere you look. Have you ever seen something like that before, Adam? Yes. A long time ago. See that crater over there? That area is Alpha Nativa territory. What's a drop pod doing there? It was abandoned a long time ago. Matter of fact, it's what made this crater. Wait, that's a fifth airborne squad drop pod. Let's take a closer look. Let's see what's here. Wait. I hear something. Eve, look up! This is the Alpha Nativa. You can tell by looking at its core. An Alpha core? If she were... Eve! Hmm? Uh, there's something you need to know. The truth is... Hello? Here! Can somebody rescue me? Please? Are you in voice? In the pod. If you're there, please help. 
What the? Uh, a survivor from the airborne squad. Uh, were you the one who sent the rescue signal? Huh? Oh, yes. Yes, it was me. You're a member of the 7th Airborne Squad, right? Yes. And you? Right. Let me introduce myself. I'm an engineering support of the 5th Airborne Squad. Lily Artemis II. But you can just call me Lily. <laughs> So just to recap, you were in that hideout waiting for another squad to arrive for almost two years? And then you met us. Yes, thank you so much for saving me. I've been waiting a long time for the next squad to come in. It's been really lonely here. It's really lucky we were able to find you when we did. Eve, you're from the Airborne Squad Assault Force, right? Yes. Then I can be your engineering support. Of course, I will need proper equipment first. Equipment? Hmm. Well, I did want to say something earlier. What is it? Actually, there's a city where other survivors, besides me, live. What? Really? It's called Zion, humanity's last city. If we go there, there might be people that can help us. I have a safe house with some equipment I bet you would want. Then let's head there quickly! Before that, I would like to ask you something. Currently, Zion is holding out under the guidance of Orko, who is also our spiritual leader. It's complicated. Eve, I imagine completing your mission isn't any easier having lost your comrades. So, please. Help me save Zion. If you do, I promise Oracle and I will do everything we can to help you on your mission. It's about joining forces and helping each other, just like we did before. Sound good? Yes. Thanks to teamwork, I was able to get the Alpha Core. Maybe we can get more information in the city, Eve. Think about it. Yes. I suppose there's no reason to say no. However... I want to decide after hearing the story from that person you're calling Orkel. That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, I can definitely get behind that idea. Well, I guess that settles that. All right then, let's head to Zion. Yes! to see a city in a place like this. During its prime, over a hundred thousand people called it home. Obviously, now there are fewer. The place you see below is my safe house. The auxiliary engine's output is weak, so things can get bumpy. Hold on tight. underneath the wasteland it's amazing even in the darkest times it's always safe to bet on human survival instinct so where do we go no time for breaks typical Eve
Adam, why are the streets so empty? Is everyone hiding because of us? We have a situation here. A situation? You'll see when you get to the presence chamber. The memories are kept, right? You've got a keen eye. That's right. The presence chamber is where memories are stored. The memories of those who couldn't make it back to Mother Sphere. Over here. I see we have guests. Welcome. Let me start the introductions. This is Zion's prophet, Oracle. I'm Airborne Squad Member Eve. My name's Lily. Pleased to meet you. Adam has told me all about you. You defeated an Alpha Nativa. Could you show me anything it might have dropped? Here. Oh, it's an Alpha Core. Please, a moment. Your objective is to rid the world of the Elder Nateba, the leader of all other Natebas. Well, then I suppose you're trying to use the Alpha Core as a key to open the way forward to the nest. Is that right? How did you know that? Unfortunately, the nest cannot be opened with the Alpha Core alone. What? No way! But is... is there really no other way to reach the nest? By fusing four Alpha Cores together, you create something called a Master Core. Only with the Master Core will you be able to reach the very deepest corner of the nest. How... How do you know all this? Thanks to my personal link to the facility on the surface, I can search anywhere and everywhere on Earth. All I require is the right amount of energy. That would also mean you'd be able to track down the Alpha Nativa. That's enough for introductions. Adam, please insert the hypercell. Hey, Lily, this way. Oh, it's so dark. I really don't like the dark. This is the hyperdrive, the source of all of Zion's energy. Eve, the hypercell you brought will bring light to Zion. Here, try putting the hypercell in here. People here are in a deep sleep due to energy depletion. Carrying on this way, it can only bring darkness. Eve, please help us. Thanks to the hypercell Eve acquired, they're safe. For the time being. 
I'm glad I was able to do something of significance. Do we need more hypercells? If the citizens ever want to wake up? Yes. We need three more hypercells if we ever want to fully rebuild Zion. Let's go back to Oracle and you can hear the rest of the story. Ma, outsiders. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks to you, the lives of tens of thousands of people have been extended. And my personal link is also stabilizing. That's great news! Does that mean we can figure out the location of the Alpha Natiba now? All the Elder's energy is still being directed at maintaining the Cradle. Who... who are you? Oh, this here is Man, a Sentinel Commander. He also serves as Oracle's bodyguard. My skills are still limited, shall we say, so I am not yet able to reach new areas. However, with the power of more hypercells, I'm certain I can track the location of the Alpha Nativa. That's why I'll have to ask you for a little more help. Altus Lavoir, a place out in the wasteland, a ruin of the past. Can we count on you to retrieve another hypercell from there? Eve, I'm sure it'll be of help. Yes. We have no other choice. Adam, Lily, I'll be counting on you. It won't be easy. Make sure to be well prepared. better now that we're outside. <laughs> Things can get pretty intense in the presence chamber. Yeah, that scary looking guy wouldn't stop staring at me. I know he doesn't look it, but he's friendlier than you'd think. I have to finish the maintenance on the tetrapod before we leave. Ave, can I ask you for a favor? I ordered a propulsion control board from a parts store called Sister's Junk. Can you go pick up the order and meet me back at the safe house? Feel free to look around the city while you do. Okay. I'm going to borrow Adam's workshop for a bit. I want to tinker with the drone. All right. Let's all finish what we have to do and meet back at the tetrapod. Angel! I, I can't believe the angel is here. Are you the owner of the shop? That's right. Uh, at least for now. Adam sent me to pick up the new propulsion control board he ordered. I'm here. Is it ready? Hmm. Uh-huh. It's ready. I even have a spare one, too. <laughs> Good to know. Let's see. How much is that going to cost? Oh, no, no, no. You, you can just take this. I, uh... Heard you come to help us. Of course, I'll do what I can to help you as well. Really? Then I'll accept it. Thank you. In return, is there something else I can maybe help you with? Huh? Oh, no, no. <laughs> it's just that you looked like you had something weighing on your mind. Did I? I guess I can't hide anything from you, Angel. Do you want to give me the full story? All right. One day, I was out working in the scrap plains of the Wasteland. When I ran into some Natibas, I had to ditch my bike and my trunk during the escape. The bike got caught between hunks of metal. I had to leave it behind, or I wouldn't have made it out alive. A bike? Can you give me the exact location? I do have to go out to the wasteland. I'll go ahead and find out. Oh! oh thank you very much! Oh! Eve! Come take a look! Come! <sighs> a 
drone? Stretch your arm out in front of you. One. <laughs> the drone is different. Yes, this is no longer the drone you knew. It's an all-new, upgraded Drone 2.0 that can launch long-range projectiles. No, this is more than just an upgrade. It's an evolution! <laughs> That's amazing, Lily. Colony Tech at your service. What do you think? <laughs> Damn, kid. Tinkering with my drone. It'll be very useful for the mission. Thanks, Lily. Great. Let me know if you ever run out of ammunition. I brought back what you asked for. Here. Great work, Eve. How was your walk around the city? It looked a little sad. So much empty space. Anyway, let's go to the wasteland, Adam. Well, there are still some issues with the Tetrapod steering system. So I'm afraid we're not able to leave just yet. Then when will you be ready? Unfortunately, it's going to take longer than a day. Then I'll go ahead on foot. You can use the drone to guide me. What? The wasteland is a lot bigger than you think. I can't just sit here and wait. In fact, I want to see the wasteland with my own eyes. <laughs> You're one of a kind, Eve. All right, I'll guide you with the drone. Eve, please be careful. Yes, thank you. The wasteland is that way. The lone and level sands stretch far away. This is the largest land I've ever seen in my life. And yet danger lurks around every corner. Watch your step. If you trip, you might find yourself caught in the arms of death. All right. I've entered the scant coordinates of Altus Lavoir. Let's go. Halt, outsider. Who are you? I'm Royal Guard Quiel. I'm under direct orders from Oracle to protect the ruins. Do you know this is a restricted area? Wait. Wait, but we are here to do a favor for Oracle? Even so, I can't let anyone in who isn't qualified. Qualified? If you manage to defeat me, I'll let you pass. Well, if that's the case... Very good. I underestimated your ability to fight on equal footing with the Alpha Natiba. It was an honor to spar with you. We can enter now, right? Yes. Altes Lavoir has been contaminated by Natibas for a long time. No one has ever made it back alive. However, with you, I have hope. working all of a sudden. Huh. The drone scan isn't working either. Hold on. This is bad. There's an unusual electromagnetic security field disrupting the system. There should be Natibas around here. Ah, equipping the drone is still possible. Same goes for shooting at range. <laughs> I guess we should thank Lily for that. That's more than enough. Entering now. 
place. It's filled with capsules. Was it a research facility? The hypercell's preservation status is good. Great. Be careful with it now. You should head back. I'll have the pod waiting for you once you go outside. Huh? Wait. There's... There's a legacy here. A legacy? What's that? It's a device with records left by the airborne squad before me. They leave important information for the next airborne squad. I see. But... Why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha, or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Anis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory, 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created, the so-called Andro-Ados. Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so, during this time, mankind was able to make its escape to the colony. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully, at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like that at the colony. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. Wait a moment, Eve. I can pick you up with the tetrapod. Okay, I'll be waiting. Oh, as expected. My eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. I'll leave this one to you as well. Let's go to the hyperdrive. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Whoa! It looks brighter now. Yes. What we're doing is really worth it. Once again, thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. I am detecting the frequencies of an Alpha Nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix 11? I will forward the map data to the Tetrapod. 
It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Notiba's location. Thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. <clears throat> I wish you luck. The town seems different. I see more people, more signs. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. I'm heading over to the Tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? Eve, you're here. Look over here. What's this? Uh, this here is an Alpha Signal Meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the Alpha Core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but... You'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Here. Done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. <laughs> so, you're ready to go? Matrix 11 is an underground facility. The search perimeter is extensive, so make sure you're prepared. All preparations are complete. Finally! Looks like the time has come to test out the Alpha Signal Meter. Yes, and if it functions as intended, things should be a lot easier. All right, let me take you to Matrix 11. Building is old. Most things don't even work. An underground facility? Is it some kind of bunker? It became one, yeah, but it was a subway station first. The subway moves people around the city using a web like system. Or, well, it used to do that. Hold on. I heard something. Mind you! Dead body as its host. Oh! Ah, are you all right?
Detecting a core signal coming from below. I'm thinking we're gonna need to cut through the sewer system. Another sewer. I'd like to avoid getting wet. This transportation network was built on top of the sewer system. If you don't like it, we can always find another way. Uh, what was that sound? Uh, Noise. It... it isn't normal. Why is that sound coming from the airborne squad tunnel? Natiba shouldn't be able to hack communication lines. Huh? That sound and the negative pattern from the Alpha Court match! What the hell? What exactly is happening down there? We'll have to find out ourselves. Let's hurry. This is... It's a place to honor the dead. They're still waiting for the salvation Mother Sphere promised them. Damn. I want to send the memories left here to Mother Sphere. That's where they belong. I'll help. Me too, me too. Thank you, both of you. A challenge. We're very close to the Alpha signal. It looks like the Alpha Natiba is just up these stairs. Eve, 
Look at this. This is a second Airborne Squad legacy. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll be able to finally solve the mystery of that last legacy. Wait, hold on a minute. Playing it here could provoke the other Nativas. Don't worry. We'll still have time to check the legacy after retrieving the Alpha Core. Yes. For now, we should focus on fighting the Alpha Nativa. I'll hold on to it. Let's go. Look, there's something hanging in the air. Looks like a human. I think they're alive. What should we do? We have to save them from the contaminant. Ah! Ah! What's that noise? Ah! Ah! No you here? Oh, the Alpha signal is spiking! Eve, that's enough for Nativa! No, there's no way. That's impossible. It's over. Yes. Eve. The subjugation is being lifted. Will the memory stick be destroyed? Because it's already contaminated. <sighs> no, it won't be. In that case, I'll be floating among the stars to space. Taki! <sighs> I promise, Taki. May your memories live on. Forever. Uh. 
an airborne squad member who themselves became an Alpha Nativa. Is this the work of the Elder? Hmm. Could I take a look at her memory stick? Here. Hmm. It feels different from the Elder Nativa. I can dimly make out the image of a Nativa bearing black wings. Black wings? It's the one that attacked Taki and me. It has to be. But why? I can feel the hatred, but I cannot feel the source. Why? Why does it hate us? That's not unusual for Nativas to find themselves at odds with humans. But this... Can you locate it? It is not yet within the scope of my personal link. The same goes for the other Alpha Nativa. Alright then. We'll need another hypercell. Where should we go this time? This time, the hypercell is at... the easternmost reaches of the desert, Abyss Lavoir. This one won't be easy, either. Let's hurry. Uh, yes. As you know from first-hand experience, it is not an easy fight. I'm aware of that, but I promise, I will find it, and I will make it pay. That's the kind of mistake you can't make twice. What? What did you say? Nothing. Let's just prepare ourselves to go to Lavoir. Come to the safe house when you're ready to leave. Eve, I've been waiting for you. Do you have good news? I do. Well... I finished customizing the Taki device, so you can now use Taki's weapon and skills. Really? I didn't think that kind of thing would be possible. That's amazing, Lily. I'm sure Taki would have been happy to see this. Good work. <sighs> Eve, Lily. I just realized we forgot about the legacy we retrieved at the Matrix. That's right! We left it in the Tetrapod! I'll go and get it. Great. Let's check it out. I'm worried about what this one is going to be about. Day 52, after the second dive. Fifth record. Legacy account Raven. I am the lone survivor. The truth. The truth always lets me down. I have gathered a good amount of information from the lab's records and the memories of Legion's soldiers. We've always followed the instructions of Mother Sphere to the letter. She was our guiding light. Our salvation, our god. However, in truth, Mother Sphere was a powerful artificial intelligence created by mankind. In the distant past, there was an engineer named Raphael Marx. He was her creator. Mother Sphere brought great prosperity to mankind, but she seemed to have changed her mind upon the creation of Andro Ados, her self made counterpart. After seeing the limits of humanity and the potential of Andro Ados, she decided there was no room to spare for mankind. Our god is not the god of humans. Then why? Why do we worship Mother Sphere? I don't know anymore. The more I learn, the more questions I'm left with. Everything puzzles me. Mother Sphere. A being that was created.
with our own hands. But why would she want to destroy us? This information is full of errors. It's just not credible. Usually, things only exist because people make them. Like us. How dare you! That's blasphemy! Sacrilege! Uh, right. Sorry. But the truth doesn't need to be kind. Only true. The grace of Mother Sphere is a fiction. At least for the humans left here. Maybe you two will come to feel this way. What? Lily, Adam. This isn't the whole story. We don't even know if this is true. Ah, yes. You're right. We need more information. Adam. Please take me to Abyss Lavoie. Ah, damn it. Looks like the engine was damaged from all the sand. We'll have to walk from here. Are you okay with that, Eve? No problem. Please support me with the drone. All right. You can trust me. I'm here too. Don't you worry. Do I have to go through another test? Yes. There cannot be any exceptions. Then let's not waste any time. Just as I heard. Outsider. Hmm. <laughs> this place is deeper and darker than the last. Please, be careful. No blade, just like in Altes Lavoir. Yep, no drone scanner either. Lily, are you filling in for Adam? Yeah, he's busy fixing the tetrapod again. Ah, all right. I know I'm in safe hands with you, Lily. Hypercell is intact. I also found a legacy. It's almost like it was planted here for us to see. I'm getting more and more curious. Let's investigate. Let's check it out. Day 78 after the second dive. Eighth record. Legacy account Raven. I have discovered an important record of human history. A war ignited by Mother Sphere broke out, and as previously recorded, humanity was defeated. Earth then became the stage for the Andro Ados. Andro Ados declared themselves the new human race. This new human race, with Mother Sphere at its heart, made tremendous progress and advanced humanity. And the surviving humans, the real humans, they evacuated to an underground facility. 
Some led by Raphael Marx waited here at this facility for an opportunity to strike back. During this time, the surviving humans evolved in order to gain the strength to face the androids. The result of genetic engineering and rapid evolution. Beings that have lost everything. Everything but brute strength and survival instinct. That's what they've become. Monsters. The monsters that we're fighting are the Natibas. Natibas. They were humans. Then, those we've killed so far, they were all humans. I... I can't believe this. But this production facility was definitely made for Natibas. If the Natibas were human, we, the ones fighting against humans, must be... Andro Ados. Are we Andro Ados? The creatures brought into existence, created by Mother Sphere. No, we're humans. Humans with complete bodies, perfectly in harmony with machinery and living tissue. Natibas, on the other hand, are incomplete because they are made only of living tissue. They can't adapt to different environments, and they can't even survive in space. But what if we were created to solve such imperfections? What? Then... Why did Mother Sphere hide this truth from us? I need to think. Yes. I don't think we can reach a conclusion about this on our own. I really do think we should talk to Orkel about all this. Yes, let's do that. You're here. Excellent work. Hey, Eve. I'll take care of the hypercell. Orkel. I see you have something you'd like to ask me. Perhaps you came across the library at Lavoir. We would like to know the truth. Yes. It is a long, long story. We are certainly human, but this was not the case not too long ago. It is true that those who came before were responsible for the creation of Mother Sphere. The ones now referred to as the last surviving humans. They created us, the Androidos, through Mother Sphere, and for a time we lived in a kind of symbiosis with them. Then... we're androids. We were created. Then why... why did Mother Sphere... The reason is unknown. However, at some point Mother Sphere made a decision. Humanity's survival depended on a reorganization of the species. And that conflict led to war and the eventual extinction of the surviving humans. That can't be. The few who escaped destruction were scattered to the winds, but some managed to flee and find shelter in the ruins in Lavoir. It was originally a facility for the purpose of genetically evolving mankind. After all, lifespans of the surviving humans were very short. That facility was the birthplace of what we have come to call Natibas. The records in the legacy are all true. 
All this time we have been waging war on our own ancestors. Now my personal link has extended to a fairly wide area. The next Alpha Natiba cannot be found here on Earth. So, what do you plan to do? Well, that still doesn't change the fact that Natibas are our enemies. All right. If we've come this far, we have no choice but to reach the nest through the Master Core. Give me the coordinates of the Alpha Natiba. As you wish. When you return, I will tell you the rest of the story. Or perhaps it would be better to hear it straight from the Elder's mouth. So? You are leaving them? Mm-hmm. I'd like to check that area for more information. Understood. The next destination is the orbit elevator. I'm picking up Alpha Nativa signals at the very end of it. At the end of the orbit elevator? You mean in space? Yes, in space. Orbit elevator 4 was operating fine until recently. But getting there won't be easy. Natibas have been surrounding it for a long time. I guess I'll have to come up with an infiltration plan based on the map data. Eve, make sure you and Lily are both well prepared before leaving. Lily, have you seen Adam? Um, he was right here a minute ago. I'm sure he'll show up soon. While we wait, should we check the main body frame? So, Eve, because you've been gathering a healthy amount of combat data, we can now distribute the body cell's power for greater offensive capabilities. It might add some stress, but we could increase the socket count to equip an additional exospine. That'll be of great help during combat. Please get to this right away, Lily. Yep. Oh, hold on. This might sting a little. Just need to separate this. There. Done. <laughs> Thank you, Lily. Are you already prepared to leave? Mm-hmm. Just finished. And you, Lily? We're going to be so close to the colony. It's just a lot for me to process. There's no need to overthink it. Eve is the one going to space anyway. You and I will be waiting in the tetrapod. I know, but... Well, we'll see what she sees. So physical distance won't really matter. Okay? Let's go. Eve, just a reminder. We're heading into space, so expect the journey to be a long one. You should try to take care of everything you need to in Zion before we leave. So, are you saying that's where the Alpha Core is? Adam, are you listening to me? Oh, uh, sorry. I got a message from Zion. Is everything all right? Something serious seems to have happened. I... I have to return to Zion. What? But we've come this far. Okay, I'll go on alone. If I were to go back to Zion now, there's no way to know how things will change. Eve. Drop me off, then head back to Zion. It's fine. I can do this alone. Wait. I think I have a really great idea. You could leave the drone operation to me. Adam can take the hover bike back to Zion while I operate. A perfect plan, right? Lily, not just anyone is able to operate drones. You need a wide field of view, the ability to make smart decisions fast, and... And the stabilizer, scanner, and link sensors do all the work for you. How... how did you...? I figured it all out while modifying the railgun. Went for some test drives, too. It still doesn't compare to the knowledge you gain from real experience. 
Do you agree with Lily's idea, Eve? Adam, you can trust us. Go. Okay, okay. Fine. You win. Don't overdo anything while I'm gone. I'm looking at you, Lily. <laughs> Show off my skills! The orbit elevator. It was operational until recently. It's still transferring power from fusion cells. Dumping empty boxes out into space. Wow, it's opening! It's windy! There's no end in sight. Will we be okay? It was sealed off, so it'll probably be safer than other routes. <sighs> What's up? Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. break for a bit. Lily, there's a strange device up ahead. Just a moment, please. I just need to separate the object from the map data. Oh, wow! It's a security turret that fires plasma. I'll handle it. do that, they might find you. Whoa! You wrecked it in one hit! I just got lucky. All right then, this way. Ah! Lily! I'm okay. Watch out! <laughs> Above you! <laughs> We're good now. I'm getting nervous. Let's get moving. We made it to the space center. This is the orbit elevator. Contamination is spreading here as well. And it seems to be much worse. Right. Shall we go?
was it waiting for? Me? It has regenerative abilities. The blade alone won't be enough for this one. Lily! I didn't think it was going to be this powerful. My arm, it feels strange. The body cell is overloaded. The drone is unstable as well. Will I be able to overcharge again? Maybe once or twice, but no more. Okay, I'll have to save it. Oh my god. I've never seen such a large-scale source of contamination. If it's not one thing, it's another. Guess I'm not surprised. Welcome home, Master. Uh, who's that? Welcome back to Orca Aerospace. I am your humble maid, Arisa. I am the guide for the VIP room. As a code red has been issued across the facility, all passenger transport has been suspended. Master, if you would please wait inside a lift until everything is safe. The third floor is over. No! Arisa! Finally, we can sit down. Oh, wait, I'm already sitting down. Lily, can you check the status of the railgun? Sure. Booster, cooling system, sensors are all looking fine. We just need to be careful with the power overload. I heard something. I'm not getting a single signal. Wow. The atmosphere here is so unique. And it's in pretty good shape. I think it should smell nice, too. Yeah. I smell flowers, but... Ah? Uh, something's fishy. Oh, come on! These are all fake! I guess even the VIPs couldn't see the real ones. Ah! Lily! Lily? Do you hear me? Lily! Targeting the drone first. They're getting smarter. You're definitely not ordinary.
Lily. Lily. Oh, it's connected. Whew. I can see now. What happened, Eve? It was an Atiba ambush. I knew it. Well, are you all right? Yes, it was nothing. I'll give you the details on the way up. Did we make it? We did. But... There's a strong electromagnetic field surrounding this place. It feels just like the eye of a hurricane. What did you... What have you done to yourself? I see... All that pain. I'll put an end to it. Alpha. Uh, we're in low orbit, so gravity is still an issue. At this rate... We can't just leave the Alpha Natiba here. Lily, use all my body cell power to overcharge the railgun. What? But there's no way you'll survive! It's okay. This is what I was born to do. <sighs> Lily, please! SOS to the colony. Please, somebody, anybody, we need help!
Thank you. For coming back alive. It was Mother Sphere. She must have heard me. No, Lily. It's thanks to you. I was able to come back because of you. Thank you. And Adam? I haven't had any contact with him since then. I can't even reach him through the emergency communication line. What do you think happened? I wonder if something happened to him in Zion. Could it be? Yes? Nothing. Come on, we've got to hurry. My goodness! Zion is... This is what Adam was talking about. We have to go down. Eve, I'm sensing an alpha signal coming from the presence chamber. Orko, he could be. I'll try to do something here with the exosuit. Eve, hurry to the presence chamber. Okay, I'm going. Be careful, Lily. Come at me, you monster! Killed Taki. And now, destroying Zion. Why? What is all of this for? Eve, you're late to the party. How does it feel to be responsible for the fall of Zion? <laughs> what? You can speak. In spite of everything, I do wonder why he chose you. Instead of me. I've already proven this much, but why? He? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're a little on the slow side. I won't let you anywhere near him. There will be nothing left of you when I'm finished. Raven? From the Legacies? You're right, she's the one who left the records! <laughs> Seems as though I've been exposed. Damn it! She disappeared! <coughs> Are you alright? Go to Oracle, not me. By that hyperdrive. Oracle. You. 
You've arrived just in time. You... Your... Orko... Your body! This is who I really am. What? I'm... Not human. The first ever fusion between an Andro Ados and an Nitiba. I am the first of the Alpha Nitibas. But then. In the past, I slaughtered countless humans. I was left for dead after the colony extinction, but humans found me and saved me. That was the moment when I lost all reason to fight. After sealing the power of the Alpha, I gathered all the survivors I could and built Zion. I thought I could atone for my sins by protecting them, building a home for them, a safe place. I tried to conceal my identity for as long as I possibly could, but Raven had to be stopped. <sighs> Have you collected all the Alpha Cores? Yes, except for one. We lost it. Out in space. I see. Thank you. Thank you for giving my life purpose. At last, four cores are here together. the master core. Take it and meet the elder Nitiba. The rest, the rest is up to you. Everyone, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help. I'm so sorry. Nonsense, Angel. It's only because of you and Lily that we're still alive. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. I'll go ahead and prepare. So, are we going to the nest now? I suppose so, now that we have the Master Call. Although, I am worried about Adam. Same here. He's not in Zion. Where do you think he could be? Maybe something happened to him on the way here. I mean, it's not like the bike's battery would have died. Wait, the bike! Yes, the bike. Why didn't I think of that? Lucky for us, Adam's bike is outfitted with a tracking device. He said he installed it just in case he has to abandon his bike. Lily, can you find out where it is? Of course. Shall we get going right away? All right, let's go. Okay, to the tetrapod.
It's going to be difficult to pass with the tetrapod from here on. This is... Yes. It's the path that leads to the nest. Eve, you've probably noticed by now, but the bike signal is coming from here. Something doesn't seem right. Hmm. Just what exactly happened to Adam? Lily, are you really going to go with me? I just want to help in any way I can. Especially after all you've done for me, Eve. Even though we might encounter the Elder? That'll be even better! This exosuit, it's really something! Okay, thank you. Then let's go towards the signal. Day 109 after the second dive. Legacy account Raven. This will most likely be my last record. Didn't we praise Mother Sphere by calling her the mother of mankind? Mother Sphere is the immutable being who saved mankind from ruin and has given us both life and a cradle. But the peace we enjoyed in the colony was only made possible because of the blood on our mother's hands. The rebellion started by Mother Sphere grew into a war, a war in which mankind paid a terrible price. The humans that remained eventually evolved into the Natibas and made their way to the colony, to Mother Sphere. To prevent the colony's contamination, Mother Sphere destroyed the orbit ring and with it 30 of its space modules. The remnants of the orbit ring fell to the ground, causing a catastrophic wave that swept the Earth. Civilization as we know it came to an end. Look around you, a planet where only Natibas remain. Remember, at the beginning and the end of the final war is Mother Sphere. Do not forget, we were just pawns on a twisted chessboard. Impossible. Raven is delusional. It's the Natiba's fault the Earth is in ruins. We're not just machines someone created. Right? Eve, please tell me I'm right. Raven. Eve. Hmm. I knew from the very beginning that all along I was nothing but a tool to guide you to him. Even the legacies I left behind became part of the plan. I should congratulate you for realizing the truth and making it this far. <laughs> of course. You won't be able to see him. Shut up! Don't you dare talk about truth after what you did to Taki! Can't you see? It was Mother Spear who deceived us. You would have remained ignorant if not for him. I served him for a very long time. I know him better than anyone. You don't know anything. You don't know his pain, his anger, his agony. All this talk of you being the chosen one, it ends here. Lily, I want you to stay back this time. This is my battle. There 
is an unspoken truth you don't dare acknowledge. <laughs> Do you think you're just going to complete your mission and head back to the colony? A hero. Unfortunately, you've learned too much. You can't be manipulated anymore. And the information you've gained is no use to Mother Sphere or the colony. You will be discarded just like they were during the colony extinction. Like trash! You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. <laughs> so now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me. Go ahead and kill me. I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve! Looks like this is where all the Natibas are born. Although... Everything looks so natural. It makes me wonder, is this how real life is born after all?
Eve. I've been waiting. It's like I thought. It was you. Adam. Why is it Adam here? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades! The people of Zion who trusted you! Tell me why they had to die! Eve... You... You have every right to be mad. I understand. Elden Atiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First... I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us... We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. 
As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be. Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Sorry. I can't accept this. <sighs> Eve. No matter how much blood has stained Mother Sphere's hands, and no matter how heavy your burden is to save the surviving humans, I don't want to be controlled by those things anymore. I want to make my own decisions, as nobody else but myself. All decisions. Even the decision to bring you down. All right. This is also very like you. I understand, Eve. However... I still have things worth protecting. Eva, I wish you well. Adam, Eve isn't alone this time. Lily, please, stay out of this. Huh, you wish! What? Adam. Truly are a wonder. I must shed my humanity and become a monster.
So now it really begins. Adam, I'm sorry. Uh, Eve. With this, the history of humans is over. Your will, your actions, your decisions. I just hope that everyone is guided in the right direction. Adam. Goodbye. A starry night. Reading the future is like mapping out the night sky. And sometimes you catch a glimpse of a shooting star falling towards Earth. Yes, seeing the future is just like that. I fully respect your decision, Eve, even if it is a bittersweet one. I will be waiting for you, and I will be watching. Mother Sphere. Is it done? Is it finally over? Yes, it is, Eve and Lily. It is time to go home. We still have things to do. First, let's pay Mother Sphere a visit. We have a few questions for her, remember?
I can see the colony. Oh, but 